Welcome to How To. Today we're going to be looking at how to make invoices inside Denali's sales order entry screen. In the middle there, there is an application called Enter Orders. We open the orders up and the first question that will come up will be, who are you? Or what salesperson are you? In our particular example here, we'll use one. And if there was a password, they could put their password in now. When opening the sales screen, they have a transaction type located in the far left-hand corner. These would come up with the module preferences that was chosen. In our example here, we're going to just make a sale. The next area is in the customer information. If I leave this blank, it means it would be a cash sale. But in order entry, if I have a relationship, I would need to choose a customer. Even if the customer is going to pay cash, as in this particular example, then the customer's information will be kept into their history. Also at the same time, we will be able to keep their financials and any notes that you might want to use. Coming down to the next section is the header information. The header information is coming across from the sales tax code, the sales person code, is coming from the customer. If you need to change that, then selecting one will change the color of the header to blue, which means that it's active. Drop it down, make your selection, and you're now ready to go to the detail information. In the detail information, dropping down or double-clicking on your mouse will give you your inventory coming from the inventory module. Select the particular inventory piece you'd like to use, the quantity, how many are shipped out, and in this particular case, you'll be able to change price. There is no other price changes here needed, so the line is done. At the same time, if there's any marketing information about that particular price, you have a choice that you can use and put into the screen. The next line is the freight line, if there's any added freight to be added to the price for freight costs. Another product. Down here we would have a subtotal, a tax, a freight, a grand total, and we're ready to tender. When selecting the tender, we will select what the customer has been approved to tender on. Cash, check, credit card, alternate tender, AR charge. In this particular case, they wrote a check. A check has been approved. And we are now done. We are on to our next customer. 